India maze, India Monet maze. Yeah, I go to VCU, um, I'm in com arts. I just draw stuff, basically. I tend to do a lot of occult themed artwork. Let's see what, I'm 21, Libra. I play the ukulele. I watch a lot of anime. I look at pictures of celebrities on the internet. I buy clothes. I put on makeup and I watch YouTube videos. I'm just a goth who casts spells and talks to dead people. You know, regular girl stuff. Just girly things. Burn it all out, burn it away, smother the evil that harbors dismay, be it crossing or hex, destroy the ill will that does the hex, and by the power of three, the will it be gone, so let it be. I conjure thee, O circle of powers, that you will be for me a boundary between the realm of men and the realm of spirits. A place of perfect love and perfect trust, containing the energies I will raise herein. I call upon you, powers of the East, powers of air and invention. I call upon the South, powers of fire and feeling. I call upon the West, powers of water and intuition. And I call upon the North, of all the powers of Mother and Earth. Aid me in my magical working on this eve. In the names of the Silver Goddess and Golden God, this circle is sealed. Queen of Heaven, Queen of Earth, Horned Hunter of the Night, lend your power, give my spell birth, and work my will by magic right. I am Wiccan, I am a witch, um, both Wiccan and witch, because you can be a witch and not be a Wiccan. You can be a witch and be Jewish, you can be a witch and be atheist, Christian, all sorts of different type of witches, but in particular, yes, I am Wiccan. Well, I started um, specifically with Wicca when I was eight years old. I was just watching educational television. I found out that witchcraft was real when I was in third grade, and then I looked it up, and then I've been practicing ever since. When I was 11, I did what's called a self-dedication, which is kind of like our version of a baptism. The thing about Wicca is a lot of people think that Wicca is synonymous with witch. It's not. That Wicca is only one religion that happens to practice witchcraft. I'm a little bit different than your conventional Wiccan in some very particular esoteric ways. I've started doing blood magic over the past couple, couple years or so. And then, you know, just your miscellaneous Spells, bindings, cleansings, uncrossings, you know, basic stuff like that. So I talk to dead people. Um, I'm not a medium. A medium is when you can naturally see and talk to spirits. So all I can do is use a Ouija board, which is actually, unbeknownst to most people, that's actually like the lowest brow of spirit communication there is. Like, a lot of people think it's like this high, ethereal, like, godlike Ouija board. No, like, in terms of spirit communication, like, that's like the lowest, like, most ratchet way you can talk to a dead person. And that's the only way I can do it. Well, I have one spirit in particular who goes by A, as in just the, just the letter A. And he died when he was 19, so he's eternally 19 years old. It's, it's, really, it's really nothing profound or deep. I mean, I just, some of my friends are dead. That's it. Some of my friends are dead. And it's, it's fun. They don't sleep. So if you're up in the middle of the night and all your friends are asleep, the living ones, you'll 
I know who the fuck is awake. You, because you're dead. Talk to me. I tend to do like a monthly like offering to gods. I'm kind of transitioning in between gods right now because I normally just did with the um, triple goddess and horned god, but I'm kind of segueing into heathenism, which is uh, Norse paganism. Basically, the triple goddess is, she comes in three forms, the maiden, the mother, and the crone, which all represent the three main phases of the moon. And she's all about passage of time, uh, rebirth, uh, youthfulness, motherhood, acceptance of death, stuff like that. And the horned god is a god with antlers or horns, depending on your folklore. And he's all about uh, the union between man and beast and life and death and the afterlife and stuff like that. And then the other god that I mentioned, Freya, is the Norse goddess of like love and beauty and gold. And she drives a chariot driven by cats. And gods are very interesting. However, if you're a witch, you don't have to make offerings to gods or even use them in your craft. I choose to because they're interesting to me. Magic is manifesting your will. Harnessing energy to manifest your will, to make something happen. Harnessing energy, make something happen. That's what magic is, that's all witchcraft is. But then you have divination, which is like tarot cards, astrology is technically a form of divination, um, pendulum reading, crystal ball reading, that is um, all divination specifically, divination to divine, it means to like foresee to see something. So that all has to do with like seeing the future. Yeah, and I'm pretty pretty talented at divination. I'd say that's like my 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 side shtick, my spiel, my knickknack, pattywhack kind of thing. A lot of people don't understand that witchcraft is not a little hobby. To be like a witch, like a real witch, it's a lifestyle. You don't just go on Tumblr and look up a spell and then do a spell and you're you're a witch now. I'm like, no, I I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm good at what I'm doing because I've been reading and researching and practicing for 13 years. So people don't understand the amount of like just 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 straight up studying and learning and practicing and dedication and years of work it really takes to become a witch.